again, pretty interesting with the results of the poll. Uh, not, nothing that we haven't heard before. So it seems like there are common themes going on in the industry. Um, but what I want to touch on next um, is, you know, this isn't just about you um, as, the, as the client or the user or the, the recruiter. Um, it's also about the candidate experience as well. It's massive, um, you know, and the competition for talent is massive. Often the screening process is the first impression of your business and you obviously want to make it a good one. Have you ever lost a candidate through the stage and do you know why? I speak to people on a weekly basis and they tell me they've lost X amount of candidates because of a slow pre-employment screening process or a clunky, not very user-friendly one, which means the candidate um, can then question, is this the right place for them? Uh, Adam, I know you have a first-hand experience in this. I don't know if you <laughs> want to share that in some sort of cryptic way that's not going to get you into any trouble, but I know that you've got a really good example. Well, as you say, compliance is king, so I can't go into any gory details. But yeah, um, quite often, <laughs> particularly in those, you know, um, I think the technology sector is the best example. When you're doing pre-employment screening, it's kind of an extension of your brand. So if you're telling candidates that you're a great tech company and they'll be working with some great software and doing some great development work, if their first experience then is an awful process that is asking them for information they shouldn't provide, is not getting everything out of them in the optimum way, and just isn't really a, a very friendly experience, that's really going to hit your onboarding. And I have certainly in former life worked with clients who have hit those problems and actually lost talent on the back of it, which is the absolute last thing you want from a, a pre-employment screening program. Yeah, exactly. And I think as you can see from the slide, um, you know, a positive candidate experience, it does make a candidate 38% more likely to accept a job offer. So I think you would be included in the other side of that stat there, Adam, in that instance. And um, 60% of job seekers have abandoned a job application due to its length and complexity. So, you know, I think that's where you fall under again. Well, absolutely. And I would say that, you know, candidates are kind of the end customer in, in many ways of the background screening process. Um, that being said, of course, um, you do also have to factor in the user experience. Um, so how about recruiters, Luke? Um, I think you want to cover that end of the spectrum too. Yes, thank you, I do. Just so we've got kind of like both sides of the coin here. Candidate experience is, is important, as we mentioned, but the recruiter, the user's experience is important as well. Um, this is something that you do every single day. And a lot of the time, it's not the only thing you do. You're very busy, busy people. So we want to make this as simple as possible for you. Um, so really, it's an easy ordering um, process. The easier it is, the better it is because it saves you time and it can be an efficient tool. Uh, being able to see the life status of a file is important. Sometimes it means a candidate can start on a project and earlier or while other checks are still going on, depending on the situation. How involved do you want to be? Do you need to be in the screening process? Notifications can be set up at every update or only when completed. Um, what does your reporting give you? Is it on demand? Can you mould your reports to show you what it is and isn't working well? So response, SLAs, query resolution times. Do you have a dedicated account manager? Do you have a good relationship with them? Are they proactive or more reactive? How long does it take you to create new packages? Bring on new users, take away users onto your account, give them the permissions they need. Does this often slow you down? Veramax portal utilizes lots of ATSs and single sign-ons to save you time if you have it. It's also instant to set up. You can also bulk upload when you need to. You'll have total visibility uh, via our portal down to the timestamp of every step of the process. You'd be in total control of how and when we contact you about the candidate and the candidate themselves. You can be as involved as you feel you need to be, and you can simply change those settings and notifications at any time. So you're in total control of the amount of visibility that you want and need. Um, there's on-demand live reporting available. You can filter what information you need to see and when you need to see it for whatever reason. You'll have account managers that will spend time with you as often as you need. And they will build a proactive relationship with you. They'll be very responsive via emails or via uh, the Veramark live chat feature. <laughs> and you can instantly create new packages when needed. Any service, any location built in with compliance. Users can be added or taken away and they can have their access instantly um, changed and no more waiting for hours or days.
So, Beramark's back, um, background check platform. For the audience out there who have not seen and had the Veramark experience, what we like to say is that it's very simple and it's very responsive. It's free to set up and it's a pay-as-you-go service. There's a wide variety of checks on there. We can screen in over 200 countries. And most importantly, it's automated, thus reducing the time to hire. Excellent. So can you explain a little bit more detail about the automated nature of the platform? Yeah, that's no problem, Adam. I mean, automated follow-ups means a consistent approach to screening and to help onboarding and process to keep things on track. There's no missed start dates um, and projects, etc., will be able to start on time. Here at Veramark, we have built um, the right balance of people and market leading technology to ensure the process for all of this is going to run as smoothly as possible. You'll get more accurate information, it's simpler screening, and it's there to help the world trust faster. So really, just to summarize, um, you know, we talked at length uh, about what's important to you as a recruiter, the candidate, and kind of trying to link that um, with what Veramark can do and, and its, um, its solution. So customer care, there's help there for you and the candidate 24 seven um, with your dedicated account manager and their team. It's on demand, so you can get set up and started today if you wanted to, as simple as that. And that's including things like your ATS systems and single sign-ons. Um, it's, a, it's a great five-star experience. It's a digital one for you and your candidates. One that is purpose built for the industry today and not um, like you can see elsewhere with some sort of legacy platforms. The flexibility um, that we offer, the expertise and guidance on which checks and when to detect risk, we'll always proactively work with you to show you, what, you know, what market trends are or what you can do to maybe just safeguard your business a little bit more. And uh, last but not least, intelligence. You'll get a clear insight and analysis uh, delivered in real time. Uh, with, within the platform. So how about uh, integration, especially with existing ATS platforms? Yeah, we've got um, some examples here. Um, since this slide's been created, there's actually more again, and there's obviously more in the pipeline too, but you'll have plenty of options to integrate with your existing uh, ATS partner if you have one, and it can be set up with just a simple click of a button. So Veramark, as I touched on, it's a global service. We've got um, screening um, capabilities in, in close to 200 countries with offices all around the world. Um, making sure that no matter who you are, where you are, why you're using it, it is a, a global provider and a global service to you. And then this is just a quick example of some of the, the, um, the clients and brands that we're working with. What we tried here um, to do is show you the kind of the different sectors we're working in, different size of businesses, just to show you how flexibly we are and how we can, we can aim to help absolutely everybody. And there we are, here we are at the end of the webinar. Um, what I would suggest you do, if you found any of this informative or you've got any other questions, um, please download the Screening 101 cheat sheet. Uh, you can get in touch with us at any time. And yeah, thank you for your time today. Have a lovely day.